Hey guys, it's Skulker3 and welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In the last part, we did some homology stuff, and in this part, we're going to do some transfiguration stuff, which I believe is in this room here. Yes, it is! Hooray! Well, there's a class in here. Yes, it is transfiguration. More Scottish accent! Harry Potter, thank goodness you're here! There's been an accident. A candle has been changed into a rabbit. That certainly sounds like an accident. It was a lit candle and it escaped. I'm afraid it might set fires. I need someone to catch it and I'm assigning you. How will I know with a rabbit when I see it? It's purple. That's unusual even at Hogwarts. If you catch it and bring it back, I'll teach you a new spell. I bet it'll try to go outdoors. Good luck, Harry. Careful you don't get burned. Why would you send a student to do this? Why? Oh well. Hi, Dumbledore. Have you seen a purple rabbit? No, but I'd certainly like to. Well, then follow us, because we're going to look for one. Okay. That was an entirely necessary cutscene, from the looks of it. Uh, so, we got to go find the purple rabbit, which should apparently be outside, maybe. Hey, it's Finch and Mrs. Norris. Have you seen a purple rabbit? Ask us any questions somewhere else. <laughs> Excuse me? Percy! You don't seem to be spending much time in class, Harry. Percy, have you seen a purple rabbit around here? Yes, it hopped out the door into the grounds. Why is it purple? It's a late candle that was accidentally transfigured into a rabbit. That explains the wax on the floor. McGonagall wants me to catch it. Professor McGonagall, Harry. Professor McGonagall. Honestly. Uh, so, yes, we have got to go and find this rabbit. Um, there's no wax on the floor. Percy lied again! Oh dear, Percy, you're not very good at anything, are you? You utter failure of a man. Uh, so, yes, I can't remember where the rabbit is. I think it might actually be near Hagrid's hut, but I don't know why I think that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go look for it in any case. So, purple rabbits. If I was a purple rabbit, where would I look? I would look here, where the purple rabbit is. Hello, purple rabbit. Let's talk to the purple rabbit. Oh no, it's a fight! Who could have seen this coming? Okay, the purple rabbit is pretty ineffectual. Let's vermilious him in the face. Repeatedly. Um, okay, that did very little, so we're going to use Wingardium Leviosa and run entirely out of MP, pretty much. However, yes, a lot more damage, which is always nice. Um, and we're going to have to use Flupendo loads on him, aren't we? Fun. So, yeah, just sit tight, guys, while I fling blue at this purple rabbit. And eventually we should hopefully win. Ah, so, how are you guys doing? Have you had to kill any purple rabbits recently because they used to be candles? <laughs> no! Why, what's wrong with you, man? Honestly. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some good experience from this. If not, then I'm going to be very let down, quite frankly, Mr. Game. Honestly, I expected more from you. So, yeah, it's very, very boring. Um, I suppose I could show off what card combinations I have. I'm not going to use any of them, but let's see. We got oh, Snitch Streak. That's is that the one I was thinking of? No, Snitch Streak is the one which freezes them. The Snitch Strike, I think, is one which hurts them. Um, and yeah, here's some here's some cool things. Sickle Seek gets you more money, so if we get the cards for those, we might start using that a bit. Who knows? We shall see. Anyways, we've defeated the rabbit now. We are heroes of Hogwarts, and we got a famous witch's wizard card and a level. So that's all good. Purple rabbit looked very quite creepy there, really, all things considered. Um, so yeah, I took the long-winded path to get to that rabbit, but you know, I thought it was either at Hagrid's hut or outside the herbology area, and I was right about the second one. Um, so yes, now we get to go talk to Professor McGonagall again, and I get to offend the Scottish yet more. Hello. This is the only purple rabbit I could find. <laughs> yeah, because there's so many of them around the place. Good job, Harry. I'm awarding 25 house points to Gryffindor, and you'll find a new spell transcribed into your spell... spell? <laughs> into your spell book. Hooray! We've got a new spell, which we shall learn soon. Incendio Uno. Oh, yes, Incendio! My good friend and comrade. You strange fella. Um, so, yes, good work, Harry. Indeed! And people are still sitting down. Why is it that they only send Harry? If you're going to send the students, send all of the students to work together. Don't just send Harry. Honestly, the school is so wrong. I wonder how many students are from Muggle families. Not many, I'd assume. 
So yeah, here's the weird Harry not walking properly glitch thing I told you about again. Actually, I showed it already though, so it's irrelevant. You should hurry and find your next class. Excuse me, Mr. Prefect. Oh, wait a minute. You're not a prefect at all, are you? You lied! Okay, I think I can show off the weird diagonal glitch better here. Yeah, as you can see, we're down here in the black bit, but we're not going downstairs. If we go up a bit and down, though, we go downstairs. So, yeah, it's not that great, but it's something. Um, if you're looking for chance classes, the end it's at the north end of this hallway. Yeah, I'm not looking for that, thanks. Uh, I believe we're wanting to go up to the third floor, which I think is where defense against, defense, defense against the Dark Arts is. Uh, is it up here? Ooh, Nickel Thirsty on his way to class! Where's he going? I'm ignoring you, peeves. Then maybe I should give you something you can't ignore! <laughs> okay, now Harry is ill, and he keeps taking damage whenever he walks. So, I think he takes damage at least, let's see, 155. Okay, and then... Yep, it's basically poison from Pokemon. Professor Quirrell, help! <laughs> Mr. Potter, are you ill? No, he's just cast a spell on me. <laughs> Judging from the symptoms, I'd say you're under the effect of mucus and nauseum. C -c Curse of the bogeys. <laughs> exactly. This calls for a special assignment I would usually give only to a more polished student. If this is your <laughs> Harry Potter, what is it? Find the counter curse and hurry. Curse of the bogeys will make you weaker and weaker until you until you have to put to bed. Okay, so to get to this, I believe we go to Muggle Studies, which is a bit weird. Or we go to the library, or we go somewhere. Hello, Dumbledore. Harry, why aren't you in class? Professor Quirrell has sent me to learn how to remove the curse I'm under. <laughs> I don't know how to make honk noise so it sounds like he's sneezing. Ask Madame Pince in the library. The reference section covers counter curses. Bleh. The reference section covers counter curses quite well. Thank you. Uh, I think the library's here. Yep. Uh, this is the second floor of it, though. So we go down one and go and find Madame Pince, who should be able to teach us various things. Yes, I know you're taking damage, Harry. You don't need to keep making that noise. Ah! Oh dear. Um. So here's a giant spider thing and a rat. Uh, they're both pretty easy, I think. Um, I think Frapendo Uno is pretty good against the spiders, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good damage there, I'd say, considering you don't have to use any MP for it. Uh, so, yeah. I seem to remember this bit is actually a bit tough, though maybe I've always been under-leveled for it. And I don't know if I'm particularly more leveled for it. Ooh, Incendio Uno, I'd better show that off. Kaboom! And it does very little damage on the rat. <laughs> Okay, we've got to bear that in mind, because it does take up a lot of MP, but normally it's a pretty good attack. Um, especially against, you know, things you'd expect it to be good against, like, um, like plant enemies, like the Venomous Tentacular. Uh, so yes, there goes that rat, and we have won the battle. Let's move onwards then to Madame Pince, who should be down here somewhere, I believe. There you are. Hello, Madame Pince. How you doing? Oh, I can't talk to you across the desk, honestly. I'm here to research how to remove a curse. I would usually refer to you. I would usually refer you to the updated Counter Curse Handbook, Second Revised Edition, but it has been missing from the shelves for some time now. Who has it checked out? No one. It was either stolen or someone is pulling a prank. I even offered a reward for its return. And no honking in the library, please. Screw you! There's a card. Uh, so we have to find a way to remove the curse. Um, I don't know how to do that because I'm weird. Uh, I think we have to leave the library, actually, and we'll... There's a card combination. Uh, I think if we leave the library, we'll probably encounter peeves who will go, Oh, look! I've stolen the book! <laughs> Aren't I a freak? Because, you know, that's probably what it'll do, because he's peeves, you know? I wonder what this book is about. Okay! We learnt Locomotor Wibbly. That's where you can find a new spell. It's a good thing I accidentally showed that off. I get the feeling there is another spell to learn in the library as well. Um... I wonder what this book about. Oh, it's a potion recipe. So that's good. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll look through the library a bit more in another time when, you know, we're not dying with every step. Uh, just check this shelf for the last one. Okay, let's move out. Alright, peeves, you've had your fun. <laughs> oh, how can I get rid of this curse? Has the Ickle first he looked in the library? I'm leaving the library! Yes, the Ickle... 
Yes, I have. The right book isn't in there. <laughs> I don't have it. Not right now, anyway. Where could it be? Maybe a muggle is studying it. Hmm, subtle. You know how it would be a curse? Look in the library. They have books about everything. I'm looking away from you to tell you this information. Um, not sure where Muggle Studies is. I think... Uh, let's see. It's not going to be... I think it's in the top right of somewhere. It's not going to be this floor because that would lead to the library. Um, so, yes, Harry, stop being ill already. Jeez. Um, I think... Nope, nothing there. Just felt like seeing if there's anything on that statue. Uh, Muggle Studies might be in here. Nope, that's a shortcut to the sixth floor. Um... Well, let's look up here anyways. Uh, this mm, isn't it. But there's a Witches and Wizards card there. And there's probably something on one of these. Nope, evidently not. Oh well. Let's, oh dear. Oh boy! Right. Well, that was fun. Okay, we're now in the infirmary, so that's great. Uh, oh, I'm gonna check. Money situation. Yeah, I have no proof of what happens <laughs> when you... Actually, take too much damage. Uh, so maybe. Okay, that's where I just looked already. Anyways, so let's try the fifth floor then, shall we? Um, moving along on our merry merry way. It is 12 minutes into this. Muggle studies. There, this is music. Muggle music. Oh dear. I wonder why they'd have muggle music being taught at a school. Okay! Let's try incendi on these guys, because I want to see if it kills them quickly. Not bad, not bad, but it's still not dead from that, so I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to survive this encounter, so I'm going to run away. you got to know when to run away from your battles properly. Uh, so we're running out of health again. <laughs> Which is not fun at all. Thank you very much, Mr. Peeves. Oh, I think it might actually be along this corridor, possibly. Locked. It's not at the end of this corridor, possibly. Um, yeah. Sorry about not knowing where we're meant to go, guys, but... Okay, it's not here. Because <laughs> the thing is, Harry's not gonna... Yeah, Harry's gonna be asking... <laughs> well, excuse me! Anyways, the thing is, Harry's not going to be asking about how to get to Muggle Studies, because he's too stupid to get Peeves' obvious hint. Muggle art? Well, seeing as this seems to be the floor of Muggle work, then maybe Muggle Studies is up here. Yes! Excellent! Looking for something to read? Where is the book, Peeves? Reading is such a bore. Try some TV instead. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to have to do there. Um, 197 sickles there. How close are we to leveling up? Very far. Uh, so I'm gonna use a Wither Weld Potion to heal myself because there is a boss fight coming up. I think it's a boss fight at least. Some kind of boss-like thing. Oh, there's the TV. So look at the TV, and you get transported into a room with a boss. There's a Witch's Wizard card there, and there's painting with card combo. And let's fight this dude who is... A giant ogre. Excellent. Uh, let's Wingardium Leviosa him if we can. Nope, he's too heavy. And he punched us in the face. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what's particularly effective against this guy. Definitely not Vermilius. I can tell you that much for free. Uh, I'll use Vermilius Uno just in case it's not effective either. <sighs> I hate it when it hits zero because you never, you can never be certain whether that means it's ineffective or if it just missed. Okay, Vermilius seems pretty good, so let's Vermilius duo him in the face. And hopefully he'll go down relatively soon. Without too much grief on our part. My goodness, he's gonna take a long time to kill. Um, I should probably... Oh, actually, we've got new spells which we can't use anymore because I'm out of MP. Um, so yeah, I was gonna show off Locomotor Wibbly, but I can't anymore. So, uh, I'm not sure if... Locomo saying locomotive Wibbly just sounds so crap. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's particularly effective. Uh, let's use Slip Streak. Um, let's see if we can stop him from living for a little while. Come on. Okay, he's frozen. Let's use this opportunity to attack him several times. 17! So yeah, uh, he's now moving again. However, that doesn't mean he's able to attack. Although now he is able to attack. 
Uh, however, we should be able to kill him before he kills us, I think. Because we're doing more damage and we have more HP overall, I think. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, once I've killed the troll and got the book, I'm probably going to end this part, guys, just because it makes sense. Ooh, before I forget to mention, uh, next week I'm not going to be uploading any videos because we are hosting a French person um, for an exchange kind of thing. Uh, hey, got a new level. And yes, level two flipendo. That's very nice. And curse book. So do we have to use the curse book? Couldn't Harry just do it automatically? No. Okay. Your curse is gone. Hooray! And now we are safe. And we learned mucus ad nauseam. So yeah, we can basically put the same status element on other enemies so that they'll keep losing bat. They'll keep losing battle. They'll keep losing health each turn. So you know that could be pretty nice. Uh, just gonna look at these chairs because I don't think we can come back here. Nope. Good, and leave through the door, and you're safe! Hooray! So... Is that a drawing of a muggle? Oh, you failures of people. Honestly. Um, so, yes. Uh, what do we do now? Turn the stolen curse book to the library. Right, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, might as well do that now, seeing as we've still got a fair amount of time in the recording shenanigans left. Uh, what floor is the first one? I think it's floor door three is the earliest. Uh, so yeah, that'll be great. Excuse me, I just want to find the stairs now. Honestly, some people are so rude. Uh, so, is this an entrance to the library? No, it is not, because otherwise it wouldn't be locked. And uh, yes, Harry, that is perfectly logical to get stuck there, isn't it? Be careful at the north end of this hall. You can end up on another floor if you don't watch your step. Okay. I, I'll be careful. You crazy loon. Um, moving onwards. I think there might actually be another spell or something upstairs. Uh, I'll look around the library a bit. And we'll find out at some point. Because, yeah, because at some point I'm going to be doing exploring the entirety of Hogwarts. So we can show that off. I'll probably do that relatively soon so that we can have the adventures early on. Anyways, I found the counter curse book. Can you give a curse book? Wherever did you find this? Peeves had hidden it in Muggle Studies classroom. I might have known it was Peeves. Twenty house points to Gryffindor, f to Gryffindor because you recovered and returned stolen library properly. Properly. Property. Go back to Defense Against Dark Arts class to complete your assignment. How did you know I was at Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Are you spying on me, you crazy perverted old lady? Uh, so yeah, let's head over to Defense Against the Dark Arts again and talk to Professor... Quirrell, and then we can do some more stuff about life. Um, I don't think there's anything that you do particularly in Defense Against the Dark Arts, but if there is, we'll learn about it soon enough. Let's go! Defense Against the Dark Arts! Woo! Hello, Quirrell. Harry! No more honking, I see. I found the right uh, I found the right book with the right counter curse, and I returned it to the library. Excellent work, Harry. Just what I expected. T Ten points to of Gryffindor. Hooray! We got more house points. We're doing well house points wise. And we have thwarted Peeves and found the book stolen from the library. The news of new card combination makes for interesting reading. Ha ha ha, because it's about books. <laughs> Class dismissed. Hooray! And so now, what lessons do we have left? We only have history of magic. So, in the next part, guys, we'll give big big beer. Yes, I'll see you then, guys. Goodbye.